Well, welcome. I'm going to be chasing down the fifth Giza pyramid from uh, GPS point given me by Ian Douglas. Ian's done some sacred geometry, and uh, my last video I showed you P4. In this video, we're going to look at his P5, a fifth pyramid he says could have been or possibly was on the Giza plateau. Okay, so just uh, remember that we started out with this from Ian, where he shows from the southwest corner of Minkara to the southwest corner of Khufu is a thousand five royal cubits. Very interesting. And then from the southeast corner of Minkara to the southeast corner of Khufu is a thousand times the square root of pi. So you've got phi and pi in this connection. And then I showed that really it's Khafri that's offset. We often think Menkara is offset, but it's Khafri that's offset if you take this alignment between Khufu and Menkara. Okay, that's just uh, some interesting stuff. But let's look at now the, the fifth pyramid. Now, you can see that uh, there, I've got two corrections. So it's very important. I put those in. I haven't shown you what they are yet, but I'm putting those as, on the first screen to tell you there are two corrections from the, from the last video on P4 as we do the sacred geometry here for P5. So you'll see what those are. Okay, so we're looking at P4 and P5, these points that Ian Douglas, these pyramids that Ian Douglas has said were possibly there on Giza. Okay, so you saw that they chased down P4, and you saw from the visual, when I was on the horse, you were right at the alignment of Khufu and Khafri at the point there. So we saw that. It's like a confirmation of that point P4. Okay, so before we look at P5, let's just be reminded about the sacred geometry of the unified plan of Giza. And uh, Ian Douglas largely gets this part from John Legan, the great sacred geometer. Uh, okay, so from the north of Khufu to the south of Minkar is a thousand times the square root of three. So again, in this unified plan, we expect these amazing numbers, a thousand times root three. Now notice this one. In the last video I gave this distance that you're seeing here in green as a thousand times root two. This is correction one. That line actually goes to the southwest corner of Menkara, not the southeast. That's the thousand times root two. Okay, so that's correction one. And then something that I didn't have before that Ian pointed out, if you take the hypotenuse there from the northeast of Khufu to the southwest of Benkar, it's a thousand times root five. So look at this triangle formed by the three Giza giants. A thousand root three, a thousand root two, a thousand root five. Okay, and then in the distances between them, if you take the distance from Menkara to Kuf, uh, Khafri as one, if you call that one, then the distance from using the same scale from Khafri to Khufu is root two. Okay, we expect this in this sacred geometry unified plane of Giza. And the same thing if we go to the south. If we, if we take the distance from Khufu to Khafri, call that 1, that by the same scale from Khafri to Menkar, it's root 3. Okay, but now we want to move over here to another confirmation for P4. That orange line is 1,000 root 4, but oh, but it turns out that uh, it's really not 1,000 root 4. That was the second mistake, okay? It's actually 2143 royal cubits. And uh, so that's the second correction. It's not, you know, 1,000 root 4. The 2143, if you take that divided by 22, the fourth root of that equals pi. So an Indian mathematician found out that formula. So 2143 is related to the number pi. Okay, so that's the second correction. And then, of course, at the bottom, we've got from the eastern uh, Khufu over to P4, we've got 1,000 root 5. So another very interesting uh, uh, connection. And then with P5, if you take the bottom of Khufu to the top of P5 to be 1, then by the same ratio from the bottom of P5 down to P4 is 5 squared. So again, another incredible connection. And then going from Khufu to the west uh, to Khafri, if you take that as 1, and then you take the edge of Khafri over to the uh, eastern edge of P5, you have d -d 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 pi. So again, these sacred connections seem to vindicate P4 and P5 as real, real points, whether they're actually pyramids or not. They seem to be pyramids that were intended or that fit, you know, the geometry here. Okay. So again, we uh, last video we chased down P4. 
we're about to chase down P5. And uh, of course, remember the corrections. I just want to say those again. It's 1,000 root 2 to the west side of Minkar, not the east side. And then this uh, line right there is not 1,000 root 4, but it's 2143, which is connection to the number pi. All right, let's go chase down P5. Okay, so I finished finding on the ground at Giza the point that Ian Douglas has calculated for the fourth pyramid. Now Ian also, his uh, plan of Giza, he finds a fifth pyramid. So let's start on a path to go chase down that fifth pyramid of Giza. I'm staying on this highway because the point is over there on that side of Kafka. But instead of cutting right through, which I could, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this course. So it's telling me, you know, that I'm off course or whatever. And I know I need to go to the left. Hello, bro. Hey. Hey. So I, I've, I've, already, I've already been in trouble. You know, I'm, I'm ch I just chased down where the fourth pyramid was. It's a, it's a guy named uh, Ian Douglas. Calculated where the fourth and fifth pyramid are. I just put I put it on my GPS watch, and uh, I, I just chased down where it was. So now I'm going to go to a place where he says there was a fifth pyramid. So I'm just following my GPS coordinates. On my okay. phone. Yeah, you need a ride. Uh, what are you doing up here? I'm just going to go to Panorama to have some pictures at the Modern Art, and then I will go back. Uh, just pictures for yourself. For yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about this? How about if I go chase down my fifth point? Yeah. We meet again, and I'll buy you lunch up at the Nine Pyramids. So you know what you're going to do. The point is, it's just a little bit this side of copper. The point that I'm chasing is just a little, so it's not that far. So you do what you're going to do, and then come back to me, and I might be walking back by that point. And then we get together, maybe we see you want to go to lunch at 9 minutes? Uh, maybe the lunch will not be possible right. because I'll travel to Alexandria, but I'm going to meet you. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Well. So we'll do that. Okay, great. Okay. You were just inside this permit, and now we're standing in this hall which is the funerary temple of the king. The funerary temple, it was basically for the cult of the king after his death. Every tour in Egypt has to have an Egyptian tour guide. And so Sam and I work well together. He's my Egyptologist. I use him many places. You can see here, he too is a teacher. He's drawing on the sand. And so uh, Egyptologist Sam, my buddy, if you come to Egypt on one of my tours, he is likely to be one of the tour guides. I use him a lot. He and I work well together. We disagree on some things, but we do it amicably and uh, model, you know, that to our, our tours. All right, so let's get to it. Chasing down Ian Douglas's P5, the fifth pyramid at Giza. When we make this turn up here and turn toward the left, that, that arrow, See, it's telling us to turn left, and we're going to turn left. But I'm just going to follow the road, okay? Here. 
So the green arrow marks the spot of P5, the GPS point that Ian Douglas gave me. I chased it down. That's the center of it right there. And P4 that I did my last video about is down there. So Ian, there you go. And clearing all the stones. Clearing out all the stones that are around this. And putting them. them there. Okay. So if anybody wants to find the spot where Ian Douglas says the pyramid is, there it is. Okay. Right there. Right there. So, there we go. There's the spot. And, and of course that's going to show from Google Earth. <laughs> okay, Ian, I did that for you. Well, I'm in the, uh, the rainforest in Panama. I've come here after my ninth Egypt expedition. I'm told to be careful because there's some alligators in this, in this creek over here. But, uh, you know, I want to say a word to my YouTube audience. Um, I've, I've uh, been growing recently, and, and yet I've had people tell me, seriously, a number of subscribers have told me in the, in the recent past, uh, you know, we're surprised you don't have more subscribers. And I think the reason they say that is because, you know, my channel really is unique. I do uh, have made discoveries that really, you know, are really discoveries, like a discovery something no one else knew until you discovered it, you know, and and uh, at least that as far as I'm aware, others haven't discovered it. And I've got some new discoveries coming up. Some of the stuff I'm laboring to write up or, you know, put into a video format uh, from, from the things I discovered, I'm, I'm getting ready to bring those to you. And, you know, I just need you to turn on notifications, you know, subscribe to the channel, to hit that little bell that tells you to subscribe to the channel. Tell others about the channel. You know, some of these discoveries, I just think, you know, are, are really incredible. And it's not, I'm not saying that to boast. It's like, I've really discovered something there that's profound. So it's the discovery that's profound, not the discoverer, but it it takes a creative effort to 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 put it into a, a digestible form you know i have to first kind of see it and understand it to, to see the wow moment but then i've got to try and recreate that for you and sometimes you know i a graham hancock once sent said studying the great pyramid made him study math more and that's exactly true with me you know people say oh all this math I hardly took any math in high school even. I'm not a math guy, but I've gotten into, you know, the constants, pi, phi, the square roots, you know, Euler, just because the Great Pyramid has those embedded. That's part of the, you know, the secret of the Great Pyramid and Giza generally is that they're encoding this, this scientific wisdom from the past, you know. And so I'm not a math nerd. I've learned a little bit of math that I'm using on this channel because, again, Giza led me to it. And so please, it's not about the math. It's about the beauty of what they've left us. So I'm just asking you to please subscribe. Please hit the little button and so you can get notified. Make sure notifications are turned on on your phone or your computer. And, uh, you know, tell others about the channel. I'm really trying to grow. I'm trying to up my game. I'm not a, a real good, you know, videographer. Uh, I'm not a great editor. I really look at my strength as the organic strength of having discovered things, of bringing things to light. And I try and be a teacher. You know, often you, you see me trying to labor to try and make something that is somewhat complex, you know, understandable. For myself first, but, you know, obviously, of course, for my audience also. So... Please give me a chance, you know, give the channel a chance. I do think that, that you'll just agree once you see these, these discoveries I'm going to try and lay out over the next several days. You know, I, I partly have some babysitting duty here like everybody else, you know, the, the demands of the world. But I, I, I'm planning on giving time to that creator part of me so that you too can be the beneficiary of seeing the things that I've seen at, in Giza. 
So please hang with me, stay with me, uh, help me build the channel. You know, who else is doing this? I mean, you know, seriously, who else is doing I, I don't mean this to boast. You know, I'm, I'm one that, you know, I, I look at these other channels and stuff. And so, you know, there's really not many people that are actually going to Egypt and doing organic research and, and uh, of, of things believing that these ancient secrets are encoded there and then trying to bring them to light. So I, I'm not really boasting and saying there's not many channels doing it. There just isn't. There, there, there aren't many people doing this. There are people that lead tours to Egypt, yes. Uh, but not that, you know, do the discovery part. So, so please hang with me. Support me. Uh, you know, uh, make comments on the videos. Help me become a better YouTuber. Uh, you know, help me improve the channel. So this is my appeal to you this morning as I'm taking this walk here in the uh, in the rainforest in Panama. You know, watch out for the alligators that are back there, I, I was told. So I've stayed a little bit away from the creek as I've made this this morning. But, uh, you know, please hang with the channel, like it, subscribe, hit the, hit the, uh, the bell to make sure note that you get notifications of the videos. All right. Okay, great.